What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video and today we have got some news that Mac McClung and Chon D. Brown Jr. have signed with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, I believe them to be an Exhibit 10 contract, which is basically like a preseason contract. And then once it's preseason time, then you resume from there and then you like you, you can sign them afterwards. I don't believe it to be a regular contract. So uh, if you're wondering, the Lakers still have three open roster spots. These two are just preseason contracts to start and then if they play well in the preseason then maybe you bump them up to regular contracts but i do not believe them to be right this moment now uh let's start with mac mcclung mac mcclung he is definitely like the more notable player more people have heard of him I'm not saying he's going to be better than chondy brown jr because they've both played very very well in the preseason so far and i think they both definitely deserve this uh chondy brown went undrafted from michigan i believe and averaged like 11, 10 points a game in college and uh, has played pretty dang good in preseason so far. Better than Joel Iai, which hurts me to say because Joel Iai is already on a two-way contract with the Lakers and he is um, my favorite favorite of these rookies. So it, it's too bad to say that, but he definitely has outplayed him. Um, and then if you look at Mac McClung, he's probably played the best out of anyone. Maybe Austin Reeves has played better in the preseason. And he definitely deserves this as well. He averaged like 15 points a game at Texas Tech, I believe. Uh, and if you watched him in the tournament, you could see he's a very good player. So I'm very excited for him as well. And he, I think, is probably more likely to get a regular contract with the Lakers or a two-way contract if one of the two-way players gets bumped up. Something like that. Because we have heard that the Lakers are, con are definitely considering using one of those roster spots, regular roster spots, on a rookie uh, similar to like a Taylor Horton Tucker situation where they give him like a two or three year contract and then they can have him locked up and it's going to be a player that they have faith in becoming a very good player. So one of these four rookies, either, whether it's uh, Austin Reeves, Joel Yai, the two guys on the two way contracts, or it's one of the dudes on the Exhibit 10 contracts with like Chandy Brown Jr. or Mac McClung. Now, this signing doesn't mean a ton. It It is a little notable, but it's not like really that big of news because a lot of these guys on the lakers thing like some some of the other ones on the lakers summer league team will also get signed like this to an exhibit 10 contract where they are able to go play for the preseason roster and then you have to make some cuts i don't remember exactly how many players you can bring to your preseason roster and then you have to cut people but i know it is uh a notable amount it's more than the 15 plus the two two ways that you're normally allowed to have. And I remember this from last year, that Zach Norville Jr., who was on the Chicago Bulls, was the final player cut off the preseason roster, well, off the regular roster. He's the final player from the preseason roster to be cut, which really, really hurt because Zach Norville Jr. is from, uh, from Gonzaga, and he played at the Lakers a couple of years ago. Uh, actually, twenty the championship year he was on the team, but... He got waived before the before the playoffs or anything like that, which was too bad. They replaced him with uh, Devonta Kaycock. And anyway, that's kind of off topic. But I think that I, I, I could definitely see Austin Reeves or Mac McClung getting a regular contract just because Joel Iai hasn't showed a lot. He's had one good game, I think it was one. And other than that, he really hasn't. So I would make my bets on Austin Reeves or on Mac McClung getting a regular contract. And I really do think there's a good shot Mac McClung makes the team, whether it's Austin Reeves getting bumped up to a regular contract and Mac McClung getting on a two-way contract, or it's Mac McClung just getting a regular contract and Austin Reeves staying on as two-way. I could definitely see him making the team and I would I would lean towards I would lean towards him playing a game with the regular Lakers team this year. Now um Chaundy Brown Jr. Sorry to say, I just I think he's going to spend this year in the G League or if he decides to go overseas, just kind of depending what he does. But I could definitely see him playing on a 10 day contract or two way contract or something like that with some other team. I definitely think he will get a shot at some point in the NBA because I do think he is a very good player. Uh, I just don't know if he's going to make it onto this Lakers roster that already has two other rookies and uh, is competing for a championship and 
potentially we'll have a third rookie which would not really surprise me i think chandy brown jr is kind of the fourth wheel in this situation um i didn't even know about him until someone brought it up to me in one of my videos where i was talking about mac mcclung and they were like yes yeah, chandy brown jr dude he's pretty dang good too uh, and he also got signed to the summer league roster now if you can see him, he's number 15 on the court i i hope this video didn't get copyrighted but i, I don't think it will so he's the guy that just shot it right there sorry if the video is not here because it got copyrighted and so you don't know what i'm talking about but he he he, might, he looks a lot like lance stevenson i just wanted to say that. he looks so much like lance stevenson i think he i think he'll probably get a chance to play in the nba with some point this season um i'm assuming not the lakers but i could definitely see him getting a shot with like some random team like the 76ers on a two-way or 10-day contract something like that i could definitely see that happening it would not surprise me one bit he does get a lot of playing time in the summer league he's definitely an important piece to this team and i'm i'm really excited for this lakers rookie class coming up i think they'll be way better than costas Antetokounmpo and Devonte haycock were on those two-way contracts I never really saw any potential in either of them. Like you see Kostis get like a crazy dunk like every once in a while. That was it. Devontae Haycock was just kind of a nice player that like he could score, but he's undersized for a big guy. He's on the summer league squad as well. I don't know. Devontae Haycock's not really it in my opinion. And um, I'm definitely way more confident in Austin Reeves and Mac McClung and Joel Yai. Those three I'm very confident in. I'm even more confident in Chondi Brown Jr., than Costas or Devontae Hickok because I did not like either of those two signings uh, on two-way contracts. I wish they would have just kept Zach Norvell Jr. on a two-way. just did not make any sense to me why they brought in uh, Devontae Hickok when they already had Costas on one two-way and they already had, um, who did they have that year? Dev Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee, and Anthony Davis. Like I, don't, I didn't really fully understand that, but that's how it was that year. Waves Zach Norvell Jr. and then they went on to win the championship. So that made me really sad because there's only four championships combined from Gonzaga history. Adam Morrison has two with the Lakers. Um, Austin Day has one with the Spurs. And Roni Turioff has one with the Heat. I think that's the other player. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. And yeah, that's <laughs> too bad. Um, but yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe and turn notification bells to all also leave a comment down below let me know who you guys think will get signed with that one roster spot and do you think that these dudes uh will play well in preseason who do you think will make a roster spot out of these two if either of them do or do you think both will there is a possibility i don't think it's going to happen because i don't think that the lakers will just use one more roster spot on um like a veteran player i think that they will use at least two of them if not three all three um, but I'll see you guys all later in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.